Hey everyone, hey dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. You know, I've been looking at actors just today, basically. And I should say from new TV shows. I don't watch much TV, but new TV shows, and there's a lot of new younger actors. I've never heard of Carla Woodcock before. But she's an actress. I think she's 25. And it's the way the world works, because I looked on, uh, I can't remember what TV show this person's from. It doesn't really matter. Well, let's see, actually. I'm looking at the cast of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Sounds interesting. <laughs> and while I didn't find much on most of the actors, Carla Woodcock here is hiding her hand in her coat, the way a Freemason would do. And just because I can't find pictures of the other people doing certain things, signs, symbols, and agendas, that doesn't mean they're not out there somewhere or that they won't do them in the future. This is her clearly hiding her hand in her coat like a Freemason would do. Why is this a problem? The quote-unquote small-g god of Freemasonry is Lucifer, the light bearer, and that is Satan. Too many people are like, that's crazy, I don't believe that. But they don't bother researching. They don't read the Bible. They don't pray. They just go about their life, living their best life now, thinking they're going to heaven because they're a good person. And that's not the way it works. I don't hate this person at all. I don't know them. God knows their heart. But myself and brothers and sisters in the Christian truth community, we have been researching this stuff and showing this stuff and talking about it for years. The average person does not want to believe this. And I remember what it's like not knowing about these things and like viewing them from like a, you know, an outsider perspective. And it can seem crazy. I understand that. But just because something seems crazy, you should investigate it and research about it because I'm actually showing the truth on this channel. Thousands of Christians know this about the world and trying to get through to people like our loved ones and stuff like that. It has been the biggest challenge in my life. Getting through to people that I love about the biblical world and what it means, right? If more people knew about this, wouldn't we have like a worldwide town hall meeting and go, okay, wait a minute here, but that's not going to happen because people are going to remain asleep. And the powers that shouldn't be, the Jesuits and Freemasons and other whatever secret occult societies, they're in control of things. They fooled people about where they live, about who they are, and about what the world is. Entertainment is just so entertaining, right? Everyone loves television and people idolize actors and celebrities. And that is a mistake. If they really knew what these people were all about and what they do to get famous, they wouldn't be so lovey-dovey towards them. They'd go, well, I don't want to support this sellout. What am I doing? And that's the way I feel about things. Like if someone asked me about a celebrity, like a family member or something, and they're like, what do you think about this singer or this thing? I'm like, they're just another sellout. And they're, they're confused by me saying that, even though I show this daily for years. They're going to find out one day. Right? I've said that many times, and I don't mean to be rude about it, but, well, they're going to find out one day. And it's not about me, but I would like certain people to go, hey, I should have listened to you a little bit. I should have tried researching like you suggested, because that would help me to know the truth. And Jesus Christ is the truth. We are all sinners in need of a Savior. The world is biblical. Jesus Christ, fully man, fully God, born of a virgin, immaculate conception, came to earth 2,000 years ago. He fulfilled dying on the cross for all the sins of humanity. He went to the cross and shed his precious blood, was buried and resurrected three days later. According to the scriptures, the Holy Bible, this is true and it's the meaning of life. That's where you put your faith to be saved. People that say, don't pray for me, or I don't want to be saved, I don't want to go to heaven, I don't care if I go to hell, they're wrong. They are definitely wrong, and I don't want them to have regret for eternity. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So, I'm speaking like this, and all I'm doing is showing one picture 
of a young actress doing the Freemason hidden hand. This is a problem because it's satanic. People don't want to believe that. Well, you better start researching to know that this is true for yourself. All I can do is take the horse to water. I can't make the horse drink, if you know what I'm saying. It is frustrating, but I'm going to keep trying until we go home. I, I do not do these videos in hate. I don't like what these people do. They're deceived themselves and they're deceiving others to hell. So I'm not going to be like, oh, well, who cares? No, I'm going to shine light on it. And all I'm doing is explaining to the best of my ability. I always need to research more. But I'm just explaining that, well, she's doing the Freemason hidden hand. And th this is the way the world works. They're all in on this stuff. They do the vow of silence because they don't want to tell people about the secret occult societies they belong to and how fame, fortune, and success really works. Brothers and sisters, everyone else, God bless you.